So queen bees, um, you order queen bee from a queen breeder, comes an envelope like that, and the queen is already mated, and she comes in cages of various shapes and designs, like, like some of those there, without that on the end of it, whoops. No, she comes with escorts because they'll fret if they come on their own normally. So they come, you know, in a cage, most of them like that nowadays. And there's three or four escort worker bees in there and the queen. She never comes on her own because she'll fret. Ladies and ladies. Yeah, that tube there contains icing sugar and honey, which is called queen candy, which allows the queen to come out into the hive being released by the bees in the colony. Often there's a cork or a plug in that end, you've got to take that cork or plug out, and the, royal, the icing sugar and honey in there, you put in the, between the frames after you remove the original coin, and people have trouble removing the original coin, that's a whole other topic. If you have problems, I think the best thing to do is to pick the hive up and shift it. Doesn't matter where, two or three, four metres away, What's going to happen in the day? Pick up the hive and shift it three or four metres. What's going to happen? The furl bees go back to where they originally were. Stick a cardboard box there. So all the furl bees go back to where the original hive was because that's where their GPS tells them. You end up with a hive with all young bees in it and about half the population. So that makes it easier to find the queen. That's a simple way to find a queen I'd not get stung because all the fool bees are back there. Once you've found the queen, take this box back to where it was originally, toss the bees out of the cardboard box, they'll all go back into here, put the new queen in. You can't put a new queen in a hive you know, where there's already a laying queen. You've got to remove her first. Um, the best time to buy queens, when, what's the best month to buy queens in Sydney? In the spring and the autumn. Spring. Summer, what's the best time? It's after the, after the bees have stopped swarming, because if you requeen when they're swarming, the queen's likely to go with a swarm fairly soon after that, because the colony's strong. So it needs to be after that, so it needs to be you know, about now. Bees are tapering off swarming now. And the other advantage is that the queen breeders got a lot of males to mate with their queens. Remember this morning I said they might mate with 15 queens? <coughs> So if there's a lot of drones around, which there is now, the chances of your queen being mated better with more drones is greater now than it was in uh, August or September. You can get queens too early because they're not mated properly. So wait till you know, now to do that. In the autumn, you're better off to probably do it in you know, late February, March. If you go too late, there's less drones then as well. So some people rear in the, requeen in the spring, some requeen in the autumn. So you found your queen in the hive by excluding uh, the bees off back to where they come from. Or you can shake them all out the front, put a coin excluder above the bottom board, and the bees go through the coin excluder, and the coin's left on the bottom. And you can find the coin that way. Um, once you've found the coin, take her away. You can throw her away, kill her, drop her in the hive. People do all sorts of things. Smear her on this cage, say the bees have got the smell of the old queen. Doesn't matter get rid of her. Um, when you put this in the hive here or any other cage, you need the candy den sloped up a bit because if, the, if you put it that way and the worker bees die in here and the queen's still alive, they can block that entrance up. So we put it in that way. The bees in the hive, there's no cork here. I'll eat through that and eat all the candy away and the queen will then walk out. That takes two or three days. By that time, this queen's got the same odour as the hive and they should accept her. Now, it's important not to check that hive for 10 days. If you check it before 10 days, sometimes they'll call what we ball, call ball the queen. She hasn't settled down properly and they'll attack her. So wait for 10 days after you put the queen cell in to have a look. Now, when you have a look, all you need to see is you know, young, unsealed brood in the frames to know the coin's present. You don't have to actually find the queen. If you want to mark the queen, you need to practice on drones. The thing called a Posca pen, which I had in my pocket, which I might not have in my pocket now. Um, 
No, I haven't. Anyway, is a pen called a Posca pen? Yes, I have. It's in my back pocket. Too many pockets. So, you can mark the coin with a Posca pen. That you can buy at Office Works for five dollars. So that's what it's called, Posca pen. Pass that round. So green. So your ABA membership is the colour of the coin for that year. There's an international colour code for coin bees. So you catch the coin, just put a dot on a thorax, practice on your fingernail first to get a small dot. If there's too much paint on that, it'll block the coin's eyes and wings and everything else. Um, so that's how you mark a coin. So you want to pass that round, see what brand it is. Um, so office works have got them. If you get coins and you can't put them in because it's raining or anything, just leave them in the envelope. They'll, I had coins that went, they addressed New South Wales Department of Agriculture, Wales. So they actually went from America, they come from America, to Wales, and from Wales to Australia, and they're alive. Three weeks, they weren't dead. So they're tough. But leave them in a dark, cool place. You've got a letterbox that's metal, you need to meet the postman because it's hot. You've got a post office box where there's ants. You know, ants will attack coins in cages, so you've got to watch for ants and heat. Take them inside and spray if you're spraying inside. So put them somewhere in the dark and just leave them. No, I don't think you need water. Some people water them. I've never watered coins because of the humidity, so it's up to you. Um, Oh, you can't bring them in from overseas. I used to manage the quarantine station. So there's a total ban on importation of coins from overseas unless they go through a quarantine station. So once they go through a quarantine station, they never released any of the progeny. Quarantine station went from Sydney to Melbourne. So it's in Melbourne now, there's none in Sydney. So all coins coming into Australia legally, the only way they can come in, go through Melbourne. So are there any questions about coins or... If you're gonna buy coins, you're better off to buy off one or two people. So then you've got a comparison of coins from different coin breeders, not just off one. That gives you an idea as what the difference is. Is it true that if they're not adapted to your area, that they can be adapted? No, I don't think so. The question was, do they, do they get adapted to an area and they're more adaptable to certain areas than others? I don't think so. Like bees never evolved. They evolved in uh, the Caucasian, Caucasus Mountains of Russia, Yugoslavia, so the, uh, uh, Carney Islands in Yugoslavia, the Italians in Italy, English blacks in England, and yet we get the highest production per hive in the world. It's to do with flora. They're very adaptable. So you mainly use Italians. Yeah, so here they mainly use Italians. So the Italians are the most common race in Australia. Four. Four. Carney Island, Caucasian, Italian and English black, not many English black ones. You people only need to recoin every second year, you don't need to recoin every year. Commercial beekeepers recoin every year because they're moving all the time to stimulate their hives. You're not stimulating your hives, you're only stimulating the hives when something happens in this area where you live. So you don't have to recoin every year, every second year, that's enough. No, Africanised bees aren't here, they're not going to get here. So there's Africanised races, which are the killer bees. There's African, African races of bees, which are in Africa, where I'm going in a couple of weeks' time. And then there's the European race, which is here. So there's European, African, and then Africanised. Africanised is the result of the European and African races hybridising. Should you match up uh, the race of the queen to the race of your bees? Can no. You do so can you, do that? can you do, match up the race of your bees with the queen you can with artificial insemination. Because they mate with 15 drones in the air, it's pot luck what happens. And you can see that if you look at your bees and if they're all the same colour, the queen's yellow, the bees are all yellow, it means you've had an Italian queen met with Italian drones. If you've got bees that some are black and some are half black and half silver and some are yellow in colour, it means your queen has hybridised and met with drones of a different race to her. And that's obvious, there's different families in the hive. Yeah, the more they're mated with, the better the possibility of performance because there's more families in the hive, or the worse they are. Yeah, but you only breed from pure stock, not from hybrid stock. No, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So the question was, you know, do you have to leave the hive coinless before you put another coin in? No, you don't. You can take the queen out and put the queen in straight away because of the time it takes for her to come out. Some people do leave a hive coinless for a day before they put a coin in. It doesn't make any difference. You can take it out, put it straight in. We're running out of time, so are there any other... Yeah, an inbreeding's nearly impossible because of the fact that the queen's made on the wing. Um, Sydney University put up balloons and found something like 100 and different, 100 and over 100 different hives genetically around Sydney University, and they found the drones come from three kilometres to a drone congregation area. Unlikely to get inbreeding, but you can with AI and stuff like that. And how can you find out where the drone congregation area is? By putting up helium balloons with queen pheromones in them, and we've done it here, and you move around, and with binoculars you can see the, the drones going, chasing the queen pheromone in a balloon. Sydney University, second over Sydney University drone congregation area. Every year. Italians or the Russians? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> We've got to finish. I'll get shot. I kept even every on time now calling an hour over. Um, right. You can ask me questions. I'll be here, but I've got to go to a meeting, but I'll be here. Um, yeah, so thanks for everyone attending. Much appreciated.